So how is it going, Dank Division? Dank Dan here, and I'm here to talk about the Burst LMG that is pretty much getting a lot of attention. Yeah, that's right, the UGM having a Burst Barrel. An LMG Burst Barrel. Why, why does this feel so familiar? Oh my God. You gotta be joking. How did I not see this? So let me paint a picture from your past to see how many of you remember this. The year is 2015 and you get the newest Call of Duty for the first time. You start playing it and you get your hands on various guns including three LMGs before you get to this last one. The BRM, the Dingo, and the Two Shot Gorgon. All three of these guns viable in their own special way, but there was something different about this one. At level 34, you unlocked what was known as the 48 Dredge. And this thing, like the rest of the LMGs in this game, just fucking hit. You could hip fire this fucking thing. You could one burst someone if you aim directly at the head. This was built to destroy. Carrying nothing more than a 60 round mag and having a six round burst, this thing was deadly. And let's face it, it was one of the deadliest weapons in the game to those who knew what they were doing. Now fast forward, it's 2022. Season 4 drops for Vanguard and you end up with two new weapons right off the bat. The SMG which unlocks pretty much right away if you end up buying the Battle Pass bundle and of course the UGM LMG. Now for those of you who end up picking it up as ground loot or just using it in its bare base form, you run into the same problem as everyone else. While this thing has a great rate of fire and amazing mobility, it drains the magazine far too quickly. And when I mean far too quickly, I mean this thing will blow its load faster than a straight boy seeing female naked titties for the first time. It is gone. There's nothing left. The fucking rounds are all over the place. But... With that being said, yes, you can throw a larger magazine onto the gun. Yes, you can add fully loaded so you don't really run out of ammunition. But then you're introduced to one barrel. Just one. And that, of course, being the burst barrel. And all of a sudden, the flashbacks come back to Black Ops 3 and the dredge. And that honestly was the inspiration for so many people who used to play that old COD. And that brings us to this loadout that you see on screen. Now, some of you might be wondering... How the hell do I have these stats? I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. There is a website out there where data miners, rather than, you know, pulling just files that happen to be in the game for stuff that's upcoming, they pull the stats for every single gun. So you can build your guns and build your loadouts without having to test it over and over and over again. And what's better yet is it is updated in real time. Think I'm joking? Make your bet. On Thursday, when the next update drops for the patch notes, it's right there. So take a look at this loadout. Because J-God's already made it, made a loadout for this gun using the burst barrel. Bunch of other people are using the burst barrel. Let's face it, the NZ is going to fall. And when it does, it's going to be like the M13 all over again. They are either going to increase the recoil or they're going to decrease the damage. Either way, it's going to end up being either a pea shooter or a sky shooter. And in that scenario... Turn your attention to this gun and use it while you can because when it comes to burst rifles in Warzone, we all know what it means. It pretty much means that eventually they're just going to boost the recoil on it until it hits the ceiling. So, with that being said, let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on that website that I left in a link in the description down below. Two, I want to hear your thoughts on what you think of Season 4 so far. Do you like the guns? Do you like the new stuff that we've been introduced to. Do you like Fortune's Keep? Because right now the map is beautiful. But I'm starting to notice a distinct number of hackers here and there, and I'm wondering if anyone else is seeing that as well. So with that being said, don't forget to click that subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment. Don't forget to follow us on all of our socials, and you guys have a wonderful day, night, whatever you're doing, do it wholeheartedly. And of course, as always, this is Dank Dan, signing off. Get them to hit that subscribe button, Dank. It's the only way we can figure out the numbers. 15. What do the numbers mean, Dink? We're wasting valuable time.